Hello, Udit. Thank you for joining me today. First of all, congratulations on your uh, amazing rank in GATE exam. Can you give a brief overview about your educational background and uh, what are you doing right now? So, first of all, I did my BTEC uh, in 2015 from TITS Technological Institute of Science in Electronics and Communication. At that time, my GATE rank was final year, somewhere of 4000 I got. After that, a job in TCS for three years. And then after that, I joined Synopsys uh, India Private Limited where I am working at present as a physical verification engineer there. In between 2019, I have also given gate. At that time also my rank somewhere was some around 3200. So this time uh, I got all India rank 17 in EC and uh, all India 47 in extra. 17 in EC and 47 in instrumentation. Incredible, incredible. So you have mentioned that you have already given GATE exam multiple times. In your earlier attempts, you got 4000 and 3200 rank. And what were the changes that you have implemented within no time you got All India rank 17 from 3000, 4000? The thing is that uh, in the pen by first given GATE and first given GATE, so I don't have that much idea that uh, how to prepare for the exam because I think uh, the first thing is that uh, if you want to prepare some for exam, you have to get the idea of that what actually exam demands from you. So I have uh, literally very less idea. So I've given Kate for the purpose that, okay, I want to go into core companies. This is what the main motivation behind uh, giving Kate. So at that time, I was not that prepared also, but I given Kate. So I got 4,000 rank. Okay. Then after that, I got into the job. The thing is that uh, during job, the point is uh, you will get very less time to prepare. So at that time also, I started the preparation but not uh, completely with the mindset okay i have to get a good rank or something i thought i will give gate so i will try because i have that like uh, if i got into good uh, institute then in that case company will sponsor me this time uh, after getting a good ex amount of exposure experience now i thought that yeah now this is the time to upgrade my skill this time i have in mind that yes i want to get a good rank so with that mindset i prepared so this thing motivated me to prepare for this examination and yeah yeah but just to mention this you have got All India Rank 17 after nine years of your BTEC, which is an incredible job. Yes. Uh, in, like it's extraordinary achievement. Uh, congratulations once again. Yes, yes, yes thanks. thanks. So you have mentioned that you're working in Synopsys, right? Uh, which is related to VLSI. I know how hectic the work style of a VLSI job would be. It's not always nine to five. It will extend beyond five. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, this is the time foundation that you will have. But yeah, sometimes it will extend in night also. Right. Late Most of the, the, like many a times, it all. might extend till 7, 8, sometimes midnight also. You might have to work. Exactly, exactly. exactly. So I am, yes, yes, yes. I'm really curious, how did you manage your time along with a full-time job? That too, a very... Hectic job. VLSI jobs uh, in most of the companies are pretty hectic. It's not like normal TCS. Yes, yes, you, yes. You, you can compare yes, yes. the job between TCS and the synopsis, right? TCS, the work would be pretty peaceful. It's not that hectic. So I'm just curious, how did you manage your time along with job for this preparation? I already told that I have prepared the mind that yes, I will give gate this year. So from the starting only from March around, I have started my preparation. I know that I have this much amount of time. I have project deadlines also. So corresponding to that first, uh, I prepared some basic schedule that these are the subjects I will start preparing with some easy subjects and one difficult subject. This is what I have targeted. So one or two subjects plan I have prepared. So this much amount of time I will cover the subject. In Saturday, Sundays, I used to prepare initially with full focus. Yes, this I will give generally out six to seven hours of time that is sufficient to prepare for that. So what I will use to do is that in the weekdays only, whatever I will prepare in Saturdays and Sundays, whatever in weekends, make the short notes of the topics that I will study. Revise those topics every day. So this is what the point is so that I will not forget the concepts. This is what how I used to do every day. So now the next day, whenever I will get time, extra time in weekdays also, what I will use to get, I will use to watch the recorded lectures, what I have uh, uh, already, I mean, there so that I can manage the time that I have uh, uh, not uh, given the time on that subject on weekends. So, I, so whenever I will get time, I will use to watch lectures on that. So this is how I followed this procedure for each and every subject. So with this uh, method, I followed the whole year uh, till the end uh, of the gate exam. So yeah, this helped me a lot because see in job, the thing is you will not get time, but you have to find time out of that because uh, if you want to get a good rank, this thing will definitely motivate you. And uh, if I can do that, definitely people can definitely do that. There is no difficulty in getting a good rank. You just, you have, you have to be focused and motivated. So whatever you are preparing, prepare with full focus and full, I mean, understanding the concept. So this is what I think matters in me. This is some um, God level dedication. 
because trust me it's not easy to prepare get along with a full time job that too in vlsa companies work would be really hectic but still yes. whatever he has done is um, a very good achievement so udit you have mentioned that you have taken coaching right so what coaching did you take exactly for me for job going this classroom coaching sometimes will not work you can also join weekends pro weekend program also there are like lot of institutes will give weekend program so i joined as uh, uh, pre record deep learn courses there so i joined that because in that course uh, you will get recorded lectures of each and every subject and the content is extremely good and in the end test series yeah test series i have definitely suggest every one of you i initially i did a lot of mistakes and in the exam i know that uh, i have attempted only 72 marks paper i got 64 in that also six marks paper i have by silly mistakes i have i mean i have done very very simple silly mistake basic mathematical fifth class mistakes i have done but the main thing is that you have to stay motivated and you have to revise concepts regularly so that you will be in touch of the subjects don't lose the touch of the subject because if you lose that touch so then that is what will happen in the later on you will see is feel that yeah my syllabus is not complete i have my jobs also my job deadline is also there my project deadlines are also there yeah i received lot of messages asking whether to join uh, live coaching or classroom coaching or online batches i most of the times i tell it doesn't matter uh, whether you join classroom or whether you join online course the teacher who teaches the courses doesn't differ right so ultimately it's you who has to put that hard work we have a live example here udit after 9 years of his btech he took recorded classes uh, still he was able to finish his syllabus and got such a extraordinary rank you don't have to think a lot about what Uh, coaching to join you can join anything and uh, all that matters is your dedication and hard work so udit uh, whenever you feel low in this entire preparation phase how did you tackle that um, how did you cope up and how did you manage to bounce back from that situation ah uh, okay yeah so for this uh, what i used to uh, do in my uh, whenever i like uh, i feel that yeah my syllabus is pending i have a lot of tasks to do so what i used to time i used to spend time with my friends i just go out I hang out with my friends just go relax okay fine in the next day i will start again the preparation this is quite common every this will happen with each and every one so yeah just you have to believe yourself that you should can do that and definitely uh, you can easily do so if you can mention only three resources that one should follow for gate preparation what are the top three resources that you would recommend class notes are very important gate previous year questions are very good follow your class notes properly understand the concepts properly then try to apply those concepts on previous year questions and if you practice previous year questions with full focus now and after that you can attempt test series also these are more than enough that if you have done that but because what i have seen that people will do that they will learn the concept they will try to see the question what they will do they will see the answer and then they will learn the concept from that this is a very bad habit so first try to learn the concept try to attempt the question on your own if you are able to solve that then it is fine but if you are not able to do revisit the concept try to learn that If you do in this manner, now you can easily solve that question. And after that, third thing is a good test series. So just to summarize, he has mentioned class notes, previous year questions, and test series. And short notes is obviously a complementary for all these three. So apart from these three, you don't require any special textbook or any other materials. So Udit, uh, what is that one suggestion you would like to give to future aspirants? The tips I can give you is uh, first of all, make your mindset for this exam. First, understand the exam properly. You can join some good coaching institute also for prepare for this. But the only thing what I can suggest you is that say teachers can guide you. The only thing is that you have to you can achieve a good rank only with your belief and with your motivation. All the thing is if you plan strategically, I will not plan for the complete from March to February. No, I will not do that. I will prefer from March to April. April to based on the project deadlines I have everything I have summarized. i revise the concepts properly short notes if you follow this approach also you definitely will get a very good rank just the only thing is that you have to have proper focus that yes if you have this thing in mind you will definitely complete that excellent thank you so much udit for joining me today it was uh, really nice talking to you thank you for uh, connecting with me and uh, for sharing my views on this gate journey if you are preparing for gate or ac 2025 and planning to join coaching i highly recommend ace academy i also attended ace when i was preparing for engineering services exam and it's one of the finest choices for gate and esc they are starting new batches on 4th april and 20th april 
and if you are considering online coaching you can use the code matic10 to get 10% off on all the courses i'll add more details in description you can check it out from there with this i'm ending this video if you found this video helpful make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel take care and i'll see you all in the next video